Hi everyone, it's Shannon and welcome to my channel, The Daily DIYer. I am so excited about today's video. You guys know about my DIY channel, most likely. If not and you're new, welcome. I would love to have you subscribe. But I actually have a whole nother second channel you may not know about. It is called The Cozy Christmas Cottage and it's a channel that revolves around everything Christmas. Over on that channel, I post a new video every single Friday, and today is a very special day over there. So I've teamed up with six of my YouTube friends to bring you a Christmas tree collaboration. So it's going to be one video filled with tons and tons of Christmas tree inspiration. Not only that, but we're also putting together a playlist with even more holiday ideas, and I will make sure to link those both down in the description box. So after this video, you can head over and watch. Now for today's video here on this channel, you can see I have my beautiful tree behind me and maybe you've noticed I'm in my she shed. I was so excited to come back from my trip to Waco with the YouTube girls to find that Brian had finished the built-in bookcases. So this space is finally pretty much 100% finished. So I couldn't wait to get started decorating for Christmas and in today's video you're going to get to see a in-depth look of how I decorated my Christmas tree for in here. It's actually a tree I saw at Hobby Lobby last Christmas, almost bought it, was so close to buying it. I ended up buying the one you saw in last year's photos. I'll put that in overlay here so you can see what that looks like and that one is still staying in the house because I love that one so so much but I really wanted something different for out here. So I'm so excited to give you a look at this space as well as the trees. Let's go ahead and jump right in. So before we even get started decorating, I had to do this big reveal of our finished fireplace with built-in cabinets and bookcases. I took you guys through the whole process of this build and saved this big reveal for this video. So if you missed that video on how this all came together from studs to completed project, I will link that video down in the description box and up in the iCards. I always knew I wanted a Christmas tree right here in this corner, so it was so fun to finally unbox the tree and get it set up. Like I said, this tree is from Hobby Lobby and it's a flocked tree with warm, soft lights. I would love to know down in the comments below, do you prefer white lights on your tree or colored lights on your tree? I absolutely love both of them. I just think it's your own personal preference, but I would love to know. Of course, this one has the soft, warm, white lights and I love the heavy flock that this tree has. It just looks kind of like a fresh fallen snow has weighted down the branches. The whole theme and idea of this tree that I had was to use textures. So of course I have a lot of white going on. That is exactly what I wanted. But by adding different textures to the tree, you're actually adding a lot of interest. So it doesn't look so stark white, but it gives it a lot of interest that way. So I started by adding five strands of this beaded garland. It has a combination of white beads and wooden beads. And I got those from Hobby Lobby as well. These bells are also from Hobby Lobby. I always like to add something large to my trees. I always like to add a statement piece. And when I saw these this year, I knew that is exactly what I wanted for this tree because there were some larger holes. There's not a lot of branches like your traditional tree since it has that heavy flocking. So these bells fit perfectly into some of those empty spots. This braided yarn garland grabbed my attention really quickly too because it reminded me of a cozy blanket, which is something I definitely need during the winter months to make my spaces feel warm and I actually use them myself too. So I added those to the tree along with these gorgeous mercury glass ornaments. I wanted a touch of sparkle and mercury glass is my absolute favorite. It has that vintage look, but it also looks uh, very upscale and high end too. So these were really inexpensive. Once they were 50% off, I wanna say they were only about about uh, $7 for three ornaments, so really inexpensive but have a high-end look. There were some more empty spots in my tree and I had these uh, flocked snowflakes from Kirkland's. I've had these for a couple years, so I tucked those in where it looked like it needed 
some more extra added accessories to fill in those holes. I had completely forgotten to even hunt for a topper for this tree as I was hunting for accessories and was so surprised when I opened one of my Christmas boxes and found this gorgeous antique star sitting right on top. I had purchased it a couple months ago at a thrift store and it was the perfect top to this tree. I also had some picks on hand from Hobby Lobby that have some flocked branches and pine cones. So I just used two of those picks on the top of the tree. I didn't want it to be too heavy and then added that antique star to the top to give it that finished look. And these are extremely sentimental to me. These are crocheted snowflakes that my great grandmother made years and years and years ago and I was so excited to come across these in my Christmas decor boxes and knew that they were going to look so beautiful tucked into our new Christmas tree and as you can see I didn't even add hooks or anything to them I just sat them on the branches kind of like they had floated down and found their resting place. And the very last thing I did was add my tree collar to the bottom. I found this at Walmart this year. It was extremely inexpensive and I love this lighter color of basket. So I have several baskets and trays within this space that are the same color that will actually help kind of tie the whole look together. And here you can see the tree all finished as well as a lot of accessories. I also added to the built-ins, the mantle, and the space around the tree. I also had these wooden signs tucked away and they were on my Christmas tree last year. So I added them to this tree this year. Those were from Michael's, but I love the extra added warmth that they add to the tree. Underneath the tree, I have some extra little flocked trees tucked in there. That really kind of helps fill in the space. And then next to the tree, I found this adorable cottage advent calendar on Amazon. I'll link it down below if I can find it again. I love the little lights in the back there and you can open the drawers to put treats in as you count down the days till Christmas. And it has a timer on it too, which I really like. I have a cottage theme going on in my cottage. And so when I saw it, I had to have that cute little piece. And I know my kids are gonna enjoy using it as they count down till Christmas. I also have an antique sled you could see off to the side there that I found at an antique store this summer. And you can just see, um, sit back and enjoy and watch as you see all of the little accessories come together on this tree. I'm also going to have a full cottage tour coming up so you can see the entire space, my office, my little filming area. I have so many extra little cute touches here and there. So I'd love to have you subscribe and come back so you can see that too and see the whole space finally completely finished. It was so fun to finally reveal this space to you all as well as my Christmas decor. Please give this video a thumbs up and head down to the description box to the links that I will put down there to my Christmas channel as well as the Christmas tree collab and the playlist that is full of tons more Christmas and holiday inspiration. And before you go, please hit that subscribe button, hit the bell and select all so you're notified when new videos go up here on the Daily DIYer channel. Thank you so much again for joining me and I will see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.